let's talk about the Chiefs and a hidden gem they got in the fifth round. They traded up to pick Darian Kennard, the offensive lineman on the University of Kentucky. I think you and I both agree it's a great pick for the Chiefs, but uh, why don't you go into the details, look at some of the specifics. Yeah, Nick, we really like Kennard, and especially even to go a little bit earlier than he did a few rounds yeah. earlier, so to speak. But uh, Kennard is a special player. You know, if you look at stats alone, he is massive. He is 6'5", you know, 330, 340 pounds. And he holds it yep. easily. Uh, and then the past three seasons, his PFF grade, 89.2, 91.5, 91 91.9. There's that consistent growth, really great production. He is, it, it seems too good to be true to get a guy like this in the fifth round, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to give a little comparison for you. So I want to back it up a number of years and compare him to Orlando Brown Jr. coming out of Oklahoma. Orlando Brown was a very successful offensive line at Oklahoma, two-time All-American, uh, blocked very well for high-powering offenses. This was, of course, the Baker Mayfield days at Oklahoma when they were scoring and running up and down the field. Orlando Brown fell in the draft because of concerns about his athleticism. You know, he didn't have great technique, they said. His hand placement wasn't great, all this kind of stuff. Forget the fact that he was just a really, really good football player. They didn't like some of the other finer things. He falls to the third round. All Orlando Brown has done since then is go to three Pro Bowls, two with Baltimore, and now with the Kansas City Chiefs, where he's having a very successful continuation of his career. I think the similarities to Kennard just line up perfectly. A lot of the concerns with Kennard are related to sort of the same things that uh, Orlando Brown did. And Kennard, like you said, has had a great college career. He was a first-team All-American in 2021. He was on the same All-American team that had Evan Neal, top 10, Ikimi Kwanu, top 10, Tyler Lindebaum, first round to the Baltimore Ravens. Like, he was the only guy out of that group that fell out of the first round, let alone to the fifth round. And I remember you and I, we had Kennard, I think we had him like a, a like probably late first round or early second. So I think mm -hmm. that's where we had him for a while. Yeah, I so think this is second somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I mean, he's just too good of a football player, don't you think? Yeah, no, and that's the thing about Kennard. And just like Brown, I love the comparison. Sometimes you just kind of look at the tape. Look at them play on the field and don't get too bogged down in all of, like, oh, his hand placement's a little off this one. Because in college, Kennard was the baddest dude to walk on the field every play. He was bigger and stronger than anyone out there. He would pancake dudes regularly. Like, he had that killer instinct to get him over the edge on plays. And when you see that, you look at the, the measurables, you look at, you know, his mentality, his technique, so to speak, isn't as important. Just look what he's doing. And like you said with Brown, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's too slow. Maybe he's a little bit too big, X, Y, Z. And like you said, three Pro Bowls, if Kennard can do the same, replicate the same success, I mean, you feel stupid for passing on him, let him slide to the Chiefs of all people to play with Brown all the way in the fifth. <laughs> Yeah, so I've actually compared. I brought up right in front of me the scouting reports from Lance Sirline over at NFL.com for both Brown and Kennard. And it's crazy how similar they are. This is talking about Kennard. He's not a bad athlete, but faces limitations with lateral and recovery movements. Now Orlando Brown. These physical limitations create a much smaller likelihood for recovery. Okay, now back to Kennard. Kennard is an all-day mauler relying heavily upon a nasty demeanor and physical advantages. Now to Orlando Brown. Brown's physical traits and nasty demeanor give him a chance. It, it's like they're the same guy. And like you yeah. said, it's so crazy that they end up on the same team. It tells you the Chiefs probably saw a lot of Orlando Brown and Kennard, and that's why they traded up in, in the fifth round to get him. Yeah, no, and it's almost like uh, he, uh, sometimes they'll ask a player, like, hey, what do you think about this guy? That's be like, he, the perfect guy. Like, hey, this guy was an absolute dog in college. He's like bullies people around, plays real bully ball, you know, what do you think people say is measurables? And you ask Orlando and be like, well, coach, people said the same thing about me and look where I'm at now. You know, sometimes guys just have it. And if you have the size, you have the strength, the technique will come. And sometimes you don't even need it because you're bigger, stronger, and faster than everybody. You can just bulldoze your way through them. Or you uh -huh. just know how to play football, right? Because it's just angles and geometry. It's blocking people. It's just getting in front of people and moving people. So, you know, if your hand placement is too far outside or inside or something like that, who cares? Can you block the guy or not? And Orlando Brown proved him wrong. And obviously the Chiefs just saw the same thing here in Kennard. And, and credit to Kansas City, right? Because 
they have other positions, you know, maybe they're trying to upgrade more of the secondary. Maybe they have some stuff at wide receiver, even though they drafted Sky Moore. But credit to the Chiefs for moving up late in the draft and getting a guy like Kennard. Great value for them. And I think I think Kennard has a chance, like Creed Humphrey was last year, to mm-hmm. become an early starter for the Chiefs. And, and look out rest of the AFC West. The Chiefs, the Chiefs are reloading. This was a really great pick. Yeah, as some other uh, stat points I want to hit on about Kennard yeah. is, one, he's not sliding for some of the reasons that other top tackles, like maybe uh, Ryman from Central Michigan or some of those other guys were, is because they were going against lesser talent. Yeah. Kennard's playing in the SEC. SEC, yeah, you know, best talent. He had great grades against really, really top-tier talent, like all season long. So he played Georgia. Not- yeah. Right, all those guys. He blocked all those guys. Did a great job against all those guys. Um, he played South Carolina, and what's yeah. uh Kingsley from South Carolina, a great edge rusher. You know how to play against him. LSU, Florida, yep. Georgia. They played. He played against yep. Georgia. That front line. I mean, he that was probably his worst game. But I mean, if that's the guys you're going up against, you know, you gotta you gotta give this guy another look. So like like you said, great pick for the Chiefs.